All right, it is November 2nd of 2024, and as we all know, on November 2nd, 2022, the Parkland Shooters trial officially ended completely. A month earlier, in October in October of 22, the jury finally recommended life without parole, and on November 2nd, the judge, Elizabeth Shears, and, I mean, if you go to the comments, all people say, oh, how hot the judge is. I mean, to be honest, I... <laughs> okay, we're getting off topic. Yes, she is a um, kind of good looking. All right, all right, chill out. Um, well, uh, back to what I was actually wanting to talk about. And let's not talk about sleeping with the judge. That's another video. The Parkland shooter, it was very controversial. Still is, actually. And as of like a few months ago, one of the victims, the most severely injured victim, Anthony Borges, was like, I think he was 15 when he was shot five times with an AR-15 by Nicholas Cruz. Because he was like shielding a doorway to a classroom and, you know, Nicholas Cruz did not take kindly to that. So he shot him five times. And it's frankly miraculous that he really recovered because, you know... Whatever, right? And he actually got a pretty unique settlement that the shooter actually agreed. I mean, of course he would. You know, he has nothing to lose. Whatever. He, When he eventually dies, which, well, I mean, maybe sooner than he may want, but they will actually autopsy his brain and send it to, like, I don't know where they actually do, like, research on brains. I know there's, like, probably universities or... They'll send it to get, like, scanned and actually have people go into his brain and do and do, re do research and just check for, abnor you know, something abnormal, like, you know, maybe a tumor. That's actually been done before, like, with the case of Charles Whitman back in the 60s. You know, it was found that he actually had a tumor that probably influenced some of his bizarre thoughts and actions. So, I don't know what they'll find. I mean, I don't know. When the day Nicholas Cruz's, Cruz pass, you know, dies, hopefully he doesn't get his head smashed in, because you know, then, you know, they can't do with his brain. If he dies of anything else, if the head's all right, he, his brain will be analyzed by professionals. And the thing is, when he dies, it's going to be... If he, like, actually lives out multiple decades... Technology will improve, and that, then that would be even better if he, when he donates his brain. But that's... I did a video on that a few months ago. It was actually real, relatively unique. You know, it's an, a settlement, because whatever. Nicholas Cruz, probably, he doesn't have a prison job or anything. He's literally in PC, because, I mean, he has to be, and no one likes him. I wouldn't be surprised if he got some jail guards messing with him. But on November tw November 2nd... 2022 two years ago today nicholas cruz was like officially sentenced to 34 consecutive lives so, i mean I, it wouldn't matter if i mean that's just to make just to sh send a message really consecutive and concurrent you know is two different things concurrent means like if you were sentenced to five years on one charge and 10 years on the second charge if it was concurrent you only had to serve the five years for the one charge but if it's consecutive you gotta serve well 20 years the full term so he got 34 consecutive life sentences even it would take over two cats like even if he was a cat he wouldn't be able to get that that shit i mean whatever right i mean he will never get out of prison he will die alone in a cell i mean that's tight you know whatever and it was actually pretty bad that everyone knew who it was when the shots were ringing out. Like, they've done a few interviews with kids who are in the building. And the fact that literally everyone there knew who it was immediately, even though Nicholas Cruz had been out of that school for over a year, the fact that they still remembered him, that he must have been a real mess up. And he was a real troublemaker. If they, everyone literally was unanimous and they all knew who it was. And that, that kind of speaks to how this system failed these people. Innocent people. Well, 
to wrap this case up, I mean, there probably will still be some more lawsuits and some more settlements going on. But as of now, Nicholas Cruz, I think they allegedly found his location. Like someone on the inside knew someone on the outside. I think the YouTuber's name is Jumpsuit Pablo. And then another one, uh, JD Delay, who I watch both. I watch JD Delay more. Bro's, <laughs> bro's funny. All right, I admit, he's kind of has dark humor, but hey, so do I, right? And so does a lot of people because he's pretty popular. He's actually, you know, pretty cool. And he, I forgot the prison name, actually. I, I don't even know if he's going to be, like, transferred out of the state. But anyway, November 2nd, two years since Nicholas Cruz was sentenced to life in prison without parole. 34 consecutive, like, terms at that, bro. So, anyway, this is kind of not a, I mean, it's not a good date, but hey, this at least that's the date where he was sentenced to life.